Hello students! Today we're going to try to create Starry Night using Sketchpad 5.1. I've created this earlier, but you are going to start from a blank screen. So when you look for Sketchpad, go ahead and type out Sketchpad 5.1 Select it and you'll come to this new page. Now what you're going to do is click on new, select blank, then go to custom size and you're going to select 640 times 640 which is going to be a square. So go ahead and click on that, click create. Now you have a blank canvas to work with. Okay, before we get started, let me introduce to you some of the features of Sketchpad 5.1. Okay, up here you have your essential tools. Okay, you have your brushes, your stamps, text, clip art, and fill your colors and your save button okay let's get started make sure you are click on the brushes okay currently it's set at calligraphy you're going to choose your brush towel brush okay choose your color you can choose any color we're just trying this out okay click on your canvas and you're gonna press hold and drag click hold and drag you can also create curvy strokes if you click hold and wave your mouse backwards and forwards you can create a curvy line okay i'm going to click the back button because these were just strokes for me to try out the towel brush okay so click undo 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 okay now i want you to fill this whole space with a dark blue color so you're going to select vector fill Okay, click on the color, click on this plain color here, and you're going to scroll down and select the darkest color, or you can from the preset colors, or you can even select colors from this uh, little box here. You can select any color, just choose a dark blue, okay? click on the canvas and then that will give you a dark blue color okay now go back to your brushes you're going to click on towel brush again and I'm going to create the swirls for starry night okay so I'll, I'm going to choose like a medium blue okay any me any blue will do okay I'm going to have a few stars Okay, so maybe here, this is one of my stars. Okay, maybe here, I'm going to have a curvy line to show the night sky. Maybe a swirl here, another swirl here, maybe another swirl here, okay, another swirl here. And one more. Okay, so this is the basic foundation of your composition. Okay, you're going to add on to this. Okay, you are, you can select any other blue. Okay, there's, if I scroll down, there's more than just these few. And then, of course, you can use this bar to select any of the blues that you want. And then you can click on any of the hues here okay 
and I'm going to create short strokes, okay, following my swirls, okay. So, create a few short strokes here, okay, and I'm going to select maybe a lighter blue, create more stro strokes, okay. You want your strokes to look like brush strokes, okay? Short little dashes that follow those initial swirls that you made. Okay, you can overlap them, whatever you have done before. You can just go over it. Okay, you can always choose that color and do it again. Okay, here I'm going to select maybe a purplish blue, okay, for some brighter color. Okay, don't forget to fill out and cover your dark background. Okay, maybe I'll choose like another blue here. Okay, the more colors you add, Okay, the more interesting and textured okay, your Starry Night is going to be. Okay, so I'll leave you to add more of those strokes. Okay, maybe I'll choose a medium dark blue. Okay, boys, you can ha have fun with this. Okay, you can do as many strokes as you like with as many colors. You don't have to stick to blue. You can choose sky of rainbow colors or even warm colors. You can use more purples. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of purple as well. Okay, just to give it some interest. Okay, and of course the faster you do your strokes the thinner they are if you hold down the mouse and drag it for a longer period of time then your strokes will be thicker okay so i'm quite happy with that now i'm going to move on to the actual stars i'm going to select like a medium yellow okay and i'm going to press and hold my mouse and drag it in a circle so here we go drag it in a circle okay maybe another circle okay maybe in the center here okay here another one okay kind of like a spiral shape okay there's no star here but i'm going to add one anyway okay and here as well so things look good in odd numbers so i'm going to add one more here Okay, so now I want to add some lighter tones. So I'm going to select a light yellow, okay, and I'm going to use some shorter strokes to overlap those spirals that I've done. Okay, add more at the outer areas. Okay, I can increase the size of my star, so called. Okay. Here I'm overlapping. Okay. So you notice that it starts to look as if the stars are shimmering because of all these strokes that you're adding. I'm going to select white. Okay. And maybe add some smaller strokes in the center where it's the brightest. Right here. Okay. And here as well. Okay, now if you look at the actual starry night, okay, there's a moon here in orange. Okay, I'm gonna add that here, a crescent moon. One half swirl here. Okay, and I'm not happy with this area here, so I'm gonna add more yellow at the top. Okay, until you're happy with that. Okay. 
the Starry Night also has some green mountains here. Okay, we're going to go back to the towel brush. Going to select like a nice dusky green color. Okay, that was a bit too high, so I'm going to redo that. So click undo. Okay, and maybe this way. Okay. Add more swathes of green. Okay, pick different greens. And you can create like some grassy plain effect. Okay. Okay, so the actual Starry Night also has a tree that comes right in the middle of the composition. I'm going to select a very deep green color maybe from here okay and I'm going to start at the bottom of the composition and work my way in a spirally shape upwards okay and do it again okay the ones at the side can be a bit shorter do it again try and have a curved bottom and a pointy top Okay, try and fill up the spaces there. Okay, so now I'm going to select a medium green. Okay, so select a lighter green and create some more strokes at the top. Okay, I think I need a medium green as well. Okay and create those strokes okay maybe light green again create just some strokes here okay so there you have your basic starry night you can continue to add more strokes okay either in yellow you can add more luminosity to the stars okay you could create some more strokes for the sky okay if you're not happy with the colors okay you can even add a few more grassy strokes here okay you could draw a little house a village a church okay your choice so once you're done with this and you're happy you're gonna click on the save icon which also says export click on that and you're gonna click save.jpeg or save jpeg okay so you click on that and it will download your file okay and it will be saved automatically somewhere on your laptop okay so that's the end of the video have fun creating your own starry night and once you're ready to upload your file from your computer i'll see you back on sls and then you can upload it on sls have fun boys